Welcome to Suladan Plays Tyler the Fox, a minimalistic adventure focusing on story exploration as a small fox named Tyler. Your adventure begins at the mouth of a cave. I disagree, sir. There is no cave to be found here. What buttons? Buttons. Okay. Hmm. These trees are oddly ghostly. Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Ah, ah. Tree, stop. Whatever you're doing. Let me go. Okay, a, a tree tried to kidnap me. That's glorious. We're gonna go up this hill. A slightly polygonal hill. Uh, it, it's in... It's 0.1.0. Uh, it was released a couple years ago, apparently. The, uh, the game dev has not... Has kind of fallen off the face of the planet. I don't know. I hope for more development. I'm intrigued by the concept. Let's face it. If it has a fox in it, I'm intrigued. But, uh... You know, interesting. It says you look for point of points of interest to uncover the story. Are the points of interest in this version, though? If I lack a map... Not a hole in the ground. Maybe this is a well. This is not a well. It says look for a wall and a well and other points of interest to uncover the story. Or we get stuck up and let's we're just not going under trees no more. And sprinting is doesn't appear to be sprinting, you're just running fast to start with. How large of a land did you make, sir? Where are your waypoints? Or points of interest, or whatever we're calling them nowadays. I don't know what happened there with the camera, but... Avoid the trees! I hit random keys on the keyboard while we're going to... See if I can locate any extra functions. Aside from jumping. I'm just going to assume at a certain point the trees will get so dense that I can't go any further and that's the quote edge. Or maybe not. Maybe I can squeeze. Nope. Nope. Ah. Ah. Stop trees. Stop trying to eat me. I have enough things trying to eat me as it is. Not the trees trying to. Maybe. Aha. Aha. Well, now I'm lost. And stuck. Oh no. This is where our journey ends, apparently. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, let's stop messing around with the forest of death. How do we get out? I don't trust these trees. I don't trust them. I don't trust them one bit. They're all laughing at me. Stealing my food. And then I eat them. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. When has that ever stopped you? Oh, shush. Apparently we've just located the endless forest, which is not actually a point of interest, but is an interesting point. They're very different concepts, you see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a tiny tree. It's only slightly less lethal than the big parent trees. It puzzles me slightly if the player is a fox that I get stuck under trees. I should be able to just kind of squeeze on through. They kind of have that cat-like thing going where they just squeeze through everything. You think a hole's too small? Nope, they just got through. They've escaped. Now they're eating all the bacon. Aha! I found it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that is an edge. 
Can we squeeze through where we ain't supposed to do? Oh, great. Now that means I don't have to get back in because there's probably an intentional barrier of trees around the map. Hmm. Maybe right here. Yes. Okay, we're back in. Let's not do that. We've already done that in one game to do. Oh, great. Uh, I have to go around the tree. It's such a drag. Let me up the hill. The waypoint is up the hill. The point of interest, I keep calling them waypoints. And I keep holding down the shift key because I'm convinced that it makes me go faster even though it doesn't. This is a relaxing game. It would be so nice if there was more to it, but maybe the game developer will come back to life someday. Really beautiful sky texture. It's a little disjoint for how detailed the sky is versus how undetailed the ground is, but it's still pretty. Not really bad, really pretty. Was I just not supposed to come down here? Is there no way back up? Do I need to get the populous shaman to, you know, make me a ramp? She's good at that. Land bridge. Nope, oh, okay, we found a way up. Don't fall back off. I mean, don't fall off again. Not That's not two separate statements. I'm not saying don't fall and to back off. I'm just saying not to fall off. Not to resume our falling off status. Well, we're going to those mountains. We'll assume there's something interesting that way. Uh, Populous was such an underrated game. Specifically Populous, the beginning. It combined the god game genre with the real-time strategy genre in just a way that I've not seen other games really do. Uh, and it, From Dust is kind of a spiritual successor, but it lost the... Uh, it, it, it was a very different game in its own right. It's a very nice game. It just was not, you know, Populous. But spiritual successor... Yeah. Love to see more games like Stronghold. That was fun. I mean, the game, the mechanics were designed well. The problem was that the campaign never really took advantage of a lot of the mechanics. I mean, you had the capacity to mine your own stone, wood, metal, construct castles and defenses, but generally in the campaign, you'd be scrambling to barely survive off a base settlement and you never really got the chance to build up, a, you know, a castle. You could do it in creative and build a castle and then try to siege the castle you built or do things like that, but it it's difficult to really make that work, especially at that time when all of the attacks and events had to be pre-scripted, which meant they were based off timing, not off you achieving a certain thing. But if it was based off you achieving something, it could be just as exploitable. Let's not fall through. And I think if memory serves, Stronghold 2 did not fare really well. Yeah, I think this is all there is to the game. The waypoints may not be in here yet. That makes me sad. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're going to go this way. We're going to find out what's over this way. If it's the edge of the world, then so be it. Oh, that's a whole new world. There's lake over there. This was worth every moment. Also, the window's in a slightly weird resolution, if you notice the black bar on the right. But, yeah. 
If there's a lake. Oh, that was beautiful. Just crossing through there, expecting it to be an empty void, and then finding out there's beautiful landscape. I'll give him credit. I mean, even though it lacks a lot of other stuff, the, the scale of the map is surprisingly large. And beautiful. I mean, the mountain, the details on the mountains are just gorgeous. The trees are oddly repeated geometric shapes, but I am going to that lake. This is my lake, and I'm going to dive into it. Oof. Nope, not thinking about that. Lake. Lake. I applaud that the water moves. But, uh, ooh, dude, nope, nope, we're not looking down. Nope, 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 nope. Out of the lake, out of the lake, out of the lake. Black void, black void. Dark void. Ah. And that's the, uh, I see a tree wall, so I'm assuming that's the farther. That's the edge of the map. Oh, I know why. It's because that's raising and lowering, so at times it raises up to where the camera can see. Kind of see through it. And because it's so dark, it makes me... The darkness itself doesn't bother me. It's the voids. There are things in the voids that are not meant to be seen. Uh, anyway, beautiful mountain. That appears to be all there is to this game because I'm seeing more of the edge. So I'm just going to just gonna scale back here and look at that beautiful well no, I wanna catch the trees. That is just beautiful. Enjoy that. Like Meh It's pretty. Uh it's an interesting game. I would have loved to have seen where it could have gone. Or, you know, where it will go. I hope the developer comes back to life. But in any case it's been beautiful, it's been interesting, and this has been Tyler the Fox. Version 0 0.1.0 or Demo 0 0.01. Feel free to explore. Much more to come. I hope so. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I will see you on the next game.